Okay, well, I was just looking at a recent episode of Globusters, just kind of thumbing through it, and I came across a summary commentary between Jaronism and Morgyle. I'm going to go ahead and give my comments to that, but then afterwards, I wish to make an offer to the Globusters. No, I mean, if you find one single thing that's the matter with the globe earth theory, it's finished. I mean, one single thing. If you find one thing that's wrong with the globe theory, it's finished? Really? Well, that's a pretty bold statement. I've been waiting now for two years for one thing right with flat earth. And whether that's lack of curvature. Lack of curvature? Okay, well, here's the one Skiba did. Here's the one Kellum did. Here's the one I did. Here's the one Soundly did. Do I have to keep going? Whether that's lack of geological motion. Uh, geological motion? That doesn't make sense. Whether that's, I mean, just, na you know, name something. I mean, there's millions of things. Millions of things. And yet flat earthers have yet to provide one thing which only concludes the earth to be flat. Just one. Even just one of those things is sufficient to, uh, you know, to destroy globe earth theory, at least to me. I mean... Yeah, well, it's like what they're actually saying, and they don't realize it, is that they'd rather believe in a well-crafted lie than the truth that has some holes in it. A well-crafted lie. Interesting. And what would you label folks who state that everything is a lie without ever having the need to provide experimental proof of their claims, except for their claims, always dodge even the simplest of tests, avoid and censor the slightest hint of objective conjecture, and never performing any experiments which only result in what they have claimed. What would you call them? Hmm. I know what I'd call them. And wait a minute. What did you just say? They'd rather believe in a well-crafted lie than the truth that has some holes in it. Truth that has some holes in it? <laughs> but wait a minute, didn't Morgyle just say... No, I mean, if you find one single thing that's the matter with theory, it's finished. I mean, one single thing. So what do those holes do to your claims, exactly? Even just one of those things is sufficient to, uh, you know, to destroy theory, at least to me. I mean... So what's good for the Globebusters isn't good for the Globe... Hmm, anyway, moving on. I mean, that's what they're saying, and it's ridiculous. It's... If it's a lie, then what are you doing believing it's... Well, if something's a lie, you should be able to prove that it's a lie. I mean, how hard is that? It's like, no, no, well, explain to me how the sun and moon go around, or I'm going to continue believing in lies. Would that not be something unexplained, therefore destroying the flat earth claim as... What was that again, Morgal? No, I mean, if you find one single thing that's the matter with theory, it's finished. I mean, one single thing. Anyway, moving on. And it's going to take... A bunch of people and probably a few years until we even have any kind of idea of exactly what's going on it'll probably be a few years <laughs> how long does it take to track the Sun how long does it take to cast a shadow from a large light source you have a channel that's dedicated to saying you know exactly what's going on by saying that the earth is not a globe but if you don't know what's going on and it's still gonna take a couple of years then what you're saying is you have no idea what's going on and therefore the globe is altogether possible dumbass or maybe you just want to assure your viewers that you're on the right track so they can keep sending you money for the long haul Nobody's claiming that we know that. Nobody's claiming we have a map. Nobody's claiming you have a map? Um, wait a minute. Darren, you even made videos. You're saying that the map is right. You're an AE guy. What was that again, Morgal? No, I mean, if you find one single thing that's the matter with theory, it's finished. I mean, one single thing. Anyway, moving on. Nobody's claiming we know how everything works. Nobody is claiming you know how it works? <laughs> Well, if you can't prove how it works, Morgyle? No, I mean, if you find one single thing that's the matter with theory, it's finished. I mean, one single thing. And how do you explain the hundreds of Flat Earth videos, which claim to have proof that the Flat Earth works, albeit none of them are actual proof? I know they're bullshit. You know they're bullshit. Is that now what you're saying? Is that they're all bullshit? And why aren't you over there telling them that's not how it works? What we're saying is that those who told you they do. But I mean, you know, these things are just words. They're, they're nothing more. And it's, it's a lie. So if you want to continue believing in the lie until the truth comes around, go ahead. If that's what you want to do, uh, I would just think people would want to be ahead of the game. So send money. And helping to uncover the real truth. Actually, folks trust facts.
And until you have testable facts, which only result in the physical shape of the Earth being flat, then all you have is the they lie claim, which has zero effect on the shape of the Earth. Rather than to continue to prop up the lie and even defend the very liars who have, who have forced this on people for 500 years. Look, man. If you can't debunk 500-year-old experimentation with modern technology, well, then either you're an idiot, or it can't be debunked, or <clears throat> you're selling something. Okay, so, having said all that, normally, this would be the part where I invite you to come onto a hangout, and we can discuss the various points that you're trying to make, and all this, but, unfortunately, I've done that before, and nobody showed up. So I'm not going to really put my time into that. So here's what I'm offering. Globebusters has thousands of subscribers. Their individuals who contribute to Globebusters also have thousands of subscribers, which is great. Uh, kudos to you, I guess. So here's what I'm proposing. You propose the exact same experiment that I just did, basically the Eratosthenes experiment, to your subscribers. Now, I'm sure you'll get a lot more responses than I did. So we'll limit it to 50. Offer out to your subscribers that they should perform the simple test of putting up a shadow casting object, measuring the shadow casting object, measuring the shadow length at solar noon of their location. Make sure that they all do it within about two days of each other, three days maximum, so that the observations don't vary greatly. And of course, you set the dates. Uh, it's your tests, not mine. And of course, they have to be able to verify their location, either by landmark or GPS coordinates. I only really need the latitude, but it wouldn't hurt to hear what town they're near. All of their measurements and all of their landmarks have to be shown in one unedited clip. And I'll handle it all with the same privacy that I handled my test. And then produce their results. And instead of putting the note that says Sly's test in it, put a note on there that says Globusters test. Okay, because this will be your test. You don't need to have that. They don't have to do any math. They don't have to do any of the calculations. They don't have to do any of that. And I will even participate. And what I offer is not only my participation, and I'm sure that several other people that are who are not flat earthers will also desire to participate. I will personally, live on a hangout, put all of the data together and produce the graphic for it. You can watch it live. You can see that there's no fudging, no, no messing around. I might have to do it in two parts only because of the amount of time that it takes to assemble all that data. But the first thing that I will do is assemble the data and put the numbers together. The second one will be actually producing the graphic. Okay? I offer that to you, to those who are seeking truth. This is not my test. This is your test. Now, if you want to go into the whole thing about refraction and all this stuff that Dr. Zach tried to horribly explain because he couldn't even decide the difference between four centimeters, four and a half centimeters, and five centimeters amongst his various drawings, because if the refraction was actually a thing that would skew the results, simply put, it would just skew the results to a different point. It would not skew the results all over the place. There won't be anything that I can hide. You will watch me do it live. I will do it right there on a hangout, live. And I will even give you all of the information that I did. It's no problem to me. That is my offer to you. And I would really appreciate it, even if just below in comments, I would really appreciate a response. Because no Flat Earthers showed up to do my test. So maybe if it's your test, Flat Earthers will show up. Sound fair? I look forward to your response. Y'all have a nice day. Oh my god!